Good morning to one and all. This is Dr. Vais Vijata, Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, BVC Engineering College, Odell Rev, Autonomous. Today we can discuss about automation and robotics. In present scenario, automation plays very important role in the manufacturing industries and robotics become part of our life. Okay. Now we can discuss about the automation. What is the automation? Here, automation is a technology by which a process or procedure is accomplished without human assistant. Without human assistant. That means the automation can generally be defined as the process of following a predetermined sequence of operations with little or no human labor using specialized equipment and devices that perform and control the manufacturing process is called as automation. So, types of automations. Automation can be classified as three basic types. First one is fixed automation, second one is flexible automation and third one is the programmable automation. Fixed automation is also known as hard automation refers to an automated production facility in which the sequence of processing operations is fixed by equipment configuration. It is the integration and coordination of many such operations into one piece of equipment and that makes a system of complex. Some features are there high initial investment, high production rate and relatively inflexible in accommodating product changes. That means uh, fixed automation hard means we can't change the design. We can't change design. High initial investment ka high initial investment cost can be spread over a very large number of unit thus making the unit cost attractive compared alternative methods of production examples of fixed automation where we follow the fixed automations industries are there automotive automotive industry automatic assembly machines and certain chemical process and then advantages low unit cost automated material handling high production rate disadvantages high initial investment relatively inflexible and accommodating product changes next we discuss now second one is the programmable automation this is the production requires is designed with capability to change the sequence of operations to accommodate different product configurations. The operation sequence is controlled by program which is a set of instructions coded so that the system can be read and in interpret them. Now programs can be prepared and entered into the equipment to produce new product. Some of the features that characterize programmable automation, high investment in general purpose equipment, how production rates is related to fixed automation, flexible to deal with the changes in product configuration, most suitable for batch production. Programmable automation is uh, software automation. It is uh, used as the batch type of production and uh, low and medium volume of production to produce the each new batch of different product the system must be reprogrammed with a set of mission instructions that correspond the to the new product the Second one is the programmable automation. In this, the production equipment is designed with the capability to change sequence of operations to accommodate different product configurations. The operation sequence is controlled by program which is set of instructions coded so that the system can be read and interpret them. New programs can be prepared and entered into the equipment to product new products. Here, some features are there programmable automation, high investment in general purpose equipment, how production rates related to fixed automation, 
flexible to deal with the changes in product configuration, most suitable for batch production. Automated production systems are programmable, are used in low and medium volume production. The parts or products are typically made in batches. To produce the each new batch of different products, the system must be reprogrammed with a set of mission instructions that correspond to the new product. Advantages Continuous production of variables, mixer of product, flexible to deal with the product design variation. Disadvantages Medium production rate, high investment, high unit cost related to fixed automation. Programmable automation is the example numerical controlled mission tools, industrial robots, and programmable logic controller. Third one is the flexible automation. It is an automation is an extension of programmable automation. The concept of flexible automation has developed only over the last 15 to 20 years and the principles are still evolving. So flexible automation is one of one that is capable of producing variety of products with actually no time lost of change, change overs from one product to the next. There is no production time lost while reprogramming the system and alternating the physical setup, tooling, fixers, and mission settings. The system can produce various combinations, schedules of products instead of requiring that they may be separated batches. The futures of uh, flexible automation can be uh, summarized as follows. A high investment for custom engineered system, continuous production of variable mixer of uh, products, medium production rate, flexible to flexibility to deal with product design variations. Flexible automation have advantages of so uh, continuous production of variables mixers of product, flexible to deal with the product design variations, disadvantages, medium production rate, high investment, high unit cost related to fixed automation. In this graph, you observe the relationship of fixed automation, programmable automation and flexible automation. Here graph shows the x-axis product variety, y-axis production value. First programmable automation, flexible automation, fixed automation. So down to up we discuss Programmable automation is the suitable for low production volumes and high product variety. When product variety increases, automatically production volume decreases. In this graph you observe, then after we discuss the flexible automation. Flexible automation is the combination of programmable automation and fixed automation. Here both features both the technologies are worked here flexible automation and then after fixed automation fixed automation is a low product variety and high production value this is automated in automotive industries are used very high in high initial investment next we discuss compassion type compassion of types of automation systems comparisons are there in this table Fixed automation, programmable automation, flexible automation. First, initial investment. Initial investment we compare here. Fixed automation is the high and programmable automation is the high initial investment purpose general equipment. Flexible automation is the high initial investment for custom engineered system. Production rates. Production rates are fixed automation is the high, programmable automation low to medium and flexible automation medium and flexibility flexibility fixed automation is a high flexible and flexible to deal with the changes in production configuration programmable automation flexible automation highly flexible in accommodating product design variations so that means number of designs are available in flexible automation so production systems are suitable for Fixed automation is a continuous flow type of production system and mass production systems. Programmable automation system are used batch type of production system. 
flexible automation suitable for continuous production of wearable products and tool setup time is tool no tool setup time is required as tooling is fixed in fixed automation programmable automation is tool setup time varies from batch to batch it that's why it takes the more time here setting time flexible automation minimal tool setup time and then advantages of automation what is the need of automation introduced in, in manufacturing industry why they are used mostly in manufacturing industries automated because here number of advantages are there that that is first one is the reduction in production time having a mission that is automated definitely speeds up the production time since no thinking is needed by the mission there is a better repeatability and less human error increase in accuracy and repeatability when automated mission is programmed to perform a task over and over again the accuracy repeatability compared to an employee is far greater less human error third one no one is perfect and we are all prone to making mistakes which is why mission that performs the repeated task is less likely to mistakes that an employee less employee cost because adding automated missions to an operation means less employees are needed to get the job done it also indicates the less safety issue which leads to financial savings which have less employees there are numerous cost and that are diminished or reduced such as payroll benefits sick days extra increased safety having automated missions means having less employees who perform tasks that can be dangerous and prone to injury which make which can make the work environment safer here which environment is tough to feel worker that environment automation is the good next higher product value of production investment is automated equipment creates a valuable resource for large production values in which turn will increase profitability next one is the disadvantages also is there advantages is number of advantages at the same time some dis disadvantages are there in automation used in manufacturing industries what are they we discuss one by one less versatility less versatility by having a mission that can perform a certain task limits to flexibility and variety of tasks that an employee could do more pollution different types of machines can operate using motor which may require gases or chemicals in order to operate this can cause an increase in pollution in the workplace large legal investment automated machines can be uh, one of the most costly operating cost for company which automated machines running anywhere between the thousands and millions of dollars depending on the type and degree of automation increase in unemployment by increasing the automation of automation there are less employees are required by causing high unemployment rates because automation we are, uh, are used in manufacturing industries automatically increase the unemployment unpredictable unpredictable cost there can be several unpredictable cost that may exceed the actual cost saved by the automation itself some of this cost could include research and development cost of automating a process preventive maintenance cost and the cost of training employees to operate automated machines next we discuss reasons what are the reasons for implementation of automated system in manufacturing industry why all manufacturing industries they are think uh, automation is the better because what automation they fulfill the manufacturing industries workers and uh, employees 
we discuss here the reasons for the implementation of automated system in manufacturing industries first one to increase the productivity rate of labor to decrease the cost of labor to minimize the effect of shortage of labor to obtain high quality of products in non automation high cost is avoided to decrease the manufacturing lead time to upgrade the safety of workers next need for using robotics in industries then automation and robotics are both are interrelated technologies that's why manufacturing industries automation and the combination of robotics both are 100% they are used the successful to gain their profits industrial robot plays a significant role in automated manufacturing industry to perform different kinds of applications robot can built perform a capability supervise supervisor to those of human beings in terms of strength size speed accuracy extra robots are better than humans to perform simple and repetitive tasks with better quality and consistency robots do not have limitations and negative attributes of human workers such as fatigue need to rest and the division of attention robots are used in industries to save the time compared to human beings the robots are value poor working conditions improved working conditions and reduced risks next topic we discuss cat cam and robotics cat cam and robotics are the computer aided design computer aided manufacturing and robotics three are the combinations used in manufacturing industries cad and cam is termed means of computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing it is the technology concerned with the use of digital computers to perform certain functions in design and production cad can be defined as the use of computer system to assist in the certain modification analysis or optimization of design next cam cam can be defined as a use of computer system to plan manage and control the operation of manufacturing plant the to either direct or indirect computer interface with the plants of production resources next we need to know the what is the robot who introduced first robot so here what is the first you, you understand that robot word who invented the robot word what is the robot word meaning what is the robot the word of robot was coined by chejis novelist carol kepek in a 1920 play tale rhythms universal robots are you are they are given the robot word meaning of word robot in chejis word for worker or servant robot word means worker or servant or force slave that's why they are chosen that word because of substitute the worker in the place of we use the robot that's why they are they are given that name i choose that word robot definition of robot here first robot institute of america ria they are given the definitions of america uh, definitions of robot a robot is a reprogrammable multifunctional man plater designed to move material parts tools or specialized devices to variable programmed motions for the performance of a variety of tasks and then next history overview of the robotics or history of the robotics that means number of scientists are introduced to the different different type of robotics different different situations they are used in robots that's why different different years are there in the screen so you observe that history of the robotics first one is the 1922 it chase author carol kepak wrote yes story called rusum's universal robots and introduced the word robot meaning force worker 
next one 1952 1952 is the first NCA of mission was built at MIT 1954 George Dewell developed the first programmable robot 1955 Dinavinet and Hedenberg developed homogeneous transformation matrix 1962 animation was formed first industrial robots appeared and GM installed its first robot form animation 1967 introduced the first robot was imported to Japan for painting spraying applications. Next continued this slide also 1972 rectangular coordinate robot for internal use it is eventually developed IBM 1775-65 per sale. 1973 introduced 3T model robot which become very popular in industry. 1978, the first Puma robot was shipped to GM by animation. 1983, GM and Fanic of Japan signed an agreement to build GMF Fanic robots, which was the latter sold to Stabilis of Switzerland. 1983 became a very popular subject both in industry as well as academia. Many programs in the nation started teaching courses in Roberts 1990s was ABB switch Switzerland most small robot manufacturers went out of the market only few large companies was primarily produce industrial robots renamed next need for using robot in industries industrial robot plays a significant role in automated manufacturing industry Robots can build for firm capability to supervisor to those of human beings in terms of strength, size, speed, accuracy. Robots are better than human for firm simple repetitive tasks with better quality and consistency. Robots do not have the limitations and native attributes of the human. Robots are in, used in industries to save the time compared to human beings. Robots are value poor working conditions, improved working conditions and reduce risks applications of the robot number of applications are there here present applications of the robots material transfer applications uh, mission loading and loading processing applications like spot welding continuous arc welding spray coating coating drilling routing machining operations grinding polishing deburring wire brushing laser drilling and cutting Assembly tasks, assembly well designed part matting, inspection and automation. Next, previous slide you uh, we will discuss applications of the robot. Now future applications. In future, we what are the situations, which situations we feel tough and we can't bear environment conditions, that situations we need to robo. So here we discuss what is the future. The profile of the future robot based on the research activities will include the following intelligence, sensor capabilities, teleprincess, mechanical design, mobility and navigation, universal gripper, systems and integration networking, FMS, flexible manufacturing systems, hazards environment, underground coal mining, firefighting operations, robots in space and security guards, garbage collections and waste disposal operations, household robots, medical care and hospital duties. Thank you for listening my lecture.